So replacing the capacitors on your Game Boys is something that you should really be doing and something I should be doing um, whenever I'm doing any repairs. And it's something I need to do a bit more and get some more practice doing. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to show you a couple of ways that you can remove capacitors from a board. So here you just see it in the first uh, way you can just grab a pair of pliers, grab onto the capacitor and just twist it around until eventually it kind of loosens and comes off. This isn't going to damage the board in any way. It's going to leave the traces intact, but you will need to solder or desolder off the legs that remain. Uh, sorry, this fell out of focus here, but I've just removed the capacitor, removed the plastic base for it. And now with my soldering iron, just go ahead and remove the legs that are still soldered to the board. It's pretty straightforward this method. The capacitors are obviously being replaced and there's no need to keep them so you can go ahead and pretty much destroy them as you remove them. There's no need to preserve them like I said. And it's a good way to ensure that all the components are going to be working on the board for when you repair it and they will pretty much, the replacement ones will last pretty much um, for the lifetime of this console. This console will probably die or be chucked away or whatever before the capacitor will fail. A second method of removing the capacitor, as you can see here, I've put down some flux. I would probably advise using better flux and I use this pen one, which is a bit more liquidy, uh, isn't that great. It burns off very quickly. But what you wanna do is kind of give some uh, pressure to the side of the capacitor that you're desoldering, not too much, enough to bend it away from when the solder melts and then go ahead and go on to the other side and do the same thing. Now, if you watch here, you'll see I put a bit too much pressure uh, pushing it away from the soldering iron and when it eventually comes off, it goes flying. Now, luckily it didn't damage any of the traces in this one, but if the traces are still slightly connected, you could end up ripping, uh, ripping them off. And then a third and final method, kind of similar to the plier method, you just get some flush cutters and go ahead and just squeeze and cut it off. Now, depending on the strength of them, here you can see I tried to, if you give it too much squeezing, you can just cut it off, but here it just pulled it away from the legs in the kind of same manner that the uh, plier method did. And then again, you're left with the legs, so just go ahead and desolder them off, and that should leave the traces nice and intact for when you do your replacement. So replacing the capacitors, there is two methods that I'm gonna show you in this video. Um, first of all, clean the board, make sure it's nice and clean when you're gonna put down this new capacitor, get rid of any flux that was there from when you removed the old one and just clean the board up in general. The first method, I'm using some solder paste. Now this isn't flux paste, it has flux in it, but it also has tiny, like millions of tiny little beads of solder so that when you heat it up, they all melt and come together as a nice uh, glob of solder. So I'll just put that on the pads, put down the replacement um, capacitor, and then just heat it up, holding it in place, and then it should wick to the pad and to the capacitor leg. And then once you've got one side done, you can go ahead and do the other side nice and easily. Okay, a second method is to um, put down some uh, solder on one of the pads so here I'm just using a bit of flux this is the better flux to use it's more uh, gloopy a bit more of a paste I'm just gonna put some solder onto that pad ready to when I introduce the capacitor I can melt that down and it will should then um, stick to the capacitors leg the only problem with doing this way is sometimes the rest of the solder for some reason doesn't melt and can get in the way and it uh, it pushes the capacitor up a little bit but with a bit of practice and a bit more time you should get this uh, done I would probably say the first method is the easiest uh, and best method at applying these capacitors so here just a bit more flux on the on the opposite side introduce the solder and there we go